Next is your meta description tag. So as a best practice, meta description should be uh, 165 characters, roughly, or less. The primary keyword should be in the tag because it gets bolded. And it does not impact rankings, but it'll affect your click-through rate. This is, remember we talked about like the search snippet is the, the big billboard on the side of the highway. This is what users are looking at. They're trying to decide very quickly whether or not they want to click your link. This is what they're going to be reading. Um, this doesn't appear anywhere on your page. And unfortunately, Google will often supplement content it finds on your page in the description as it wants. So, so people spend a lot of time crafting these really nice meta descriptions, and then sometimes Google doesn't use it, which is unfortunate, but we can't really control it. So they generally use other content if it's more appropriate. Um, uh, and this is what we're talking about when we're talking about the meta description, right? Before launching a new site, I always use this SEO checklist to make sure I've covered all my bases. Um, within the code, it's meta name equals description. And again, the user doesn't see this anywhere. It doesn't affect your rankings, but it will affect your click-through rates.